Hello friends, I am Madhura. Welcome to MadhuraTheRecipe.com Today I am making Rava Dhukla or Suji Dhukla Now this one is super simple, quick, easy and instant version of Dhukla So no need to ferment this batter overnight So to start with the process, over here in a bowl I have a one and a half cup of Suji or Rava and this is fine variety of Suji You don't need to roast this In that add in a cup of yogurt then add in rest of the spices turmeric powder half teaspoon a teaspoon of salt or for taste then I have green chilli paste these are about 2 to 3 green chillies which are coarsely ground 1 tablespoon oil first mix this everything really good Once that's well combined, goes in water and again give that a mix. Once everything is well combined, cover this up and allow it to sit for half an hour. After about half an hour, this batter is all ready. Give this a one more mix. If you are visiting my uh, YouTube channel for the first time and if you haven't subscribed, please make sure that you hit the subscribe as well as bell icon uh, so that uh, you will be the first to get informed about my latest videos or latest recipes. Now in this batter add in one and half teaspoon of Eno fruit salt followed by just half teaspoon of water. It helps to activate this fruit salt and mix this quickly once everything mixed in after adding in of fruit salt you can see that this batter turns nice light and fluffy now uh, here i have this uh, steel container this is the uh, dabba that you get uh, along with your pressure cooker set so i'm going to i have greased this lightly using some oil so pour in this batter in this dabba After you transfer uh, this uh, suji dhokla batter into a container over here I have a pressure cooker I have removed its whistle then uh, preheated some water in that so there is about an inch water at the bottom of this pan and I have kept one more container covered with some uh, thali or plate this is the same plate that comes along with pressure cooker itself now place this uh, dhokla container uh, I keep this uh, empty container at the bottom so that this uh, water that we put at the bottom of this uh, pressure pan it doesn't overflow and gets into in your dhokla I'll cover this and I'm going to steam this over medium high heat for 20 minutes so instead of uh, steaming you could also microwave this uh, suji dhokla for that uh, you need to put this batter into any uh, microwave safe dish uh, to my experience 9 inch uh, pan works better for making this dhokla in micro so take around 8 to 9 inch uh, dish pour this dhokla batter and then microwave uh, on high power for about 5 minutes my microwave is 900 watt and it takes about exactly 5 minutes to get ready so over here I have steamed this dhokla over medium heat for exactly 20 minutes and after steaming I allowed it to cool down for uh, half an hour now let's cut this into pieces first loosen the sides and then perfect it has risen really good and looks perfectly nice and spongy once that's been cut into small pieces it's time to add in tempering so over here i have a tablespoon of hot oil goes in mustard seeds first or rye let them crack up then some sesame seeds then some green chilies and curry patta now just cover this up and allow it to sit for five minutes 
let's pour in this tempura over this dhokla and some finely chopped coriander leaves perfect let's take this out into a dish superb look at that looks perfectly spongy soft and fluffy look at that and serve this dhokla with some imli chutney some tikka chutney that is green chutney or even with some tomato ketchup thank you for watching see you soon bye bye